All right, hey everybody, we're live again, doing another inReach demo in real time. This is not a uh, mirror universe for those who saw the previous live stream, but I really wanted to redo this live stream. Again, if you're watching on uh, replay, I'll have time codes at the bottom. But basically, what I wanted to do is answer a question that came to me a little while ago, which is how can I share a location between one inReach device to another inReach device? Well, you can send uh, messages to inReach to inReach uh, as a free option. Think of it as your BlackBerry messenger back in the day. But you need to do a couple things before you head out or before you head out in the field. So let's say you're in a group of people, you're going on a hunting trip or you're doing some forestry work, you're in remote locations and you just need to send the location for people to either meet you up or, or whatever. So before we get started, you need to set up the contacts. And inside your new contact, down at the bottom, there's something called the inReach address, right? And this is the internal address that inReach gives you when you activate your device. So for example, for this device, my internal inReach address is the info at inReach.garmin.com. And then for this other inReach, my address is jim.seer at inReach.garmin.com. So what I'm gonna do, is let's pretend that I'm in a hunting trip. I want to do a check-in to tell my buddies uh, where I'm at. I am going to use the location function and I'm gonna share my current location. So there's my current location. I'm gonna share and this just creates a new message. I'm gonna create a contact. Oop, hit the wrong button. Here we go, new contact. And then I'm just going to scroll through and send it to the inReach. And, and you see the icon with the two arrows? That is your internal inReach address. Because remember, you can send to a mobile phone or email address. So your con you may have more than one option for your contacts here. So, so now that we have that to the inReach sent, and then I'm just going to send the message like so. Boom, sending it added the text where the, uh, look at my location is and see that little crosshairs? That is the location embedded inside of it. So we'll, we'll refer to this a little bit later. So I'm gonna let this run and we'll see how long it takes for this to send the message. Couple minutes probably. So as that runs, I wanna show you how you can send other types of messages. So I'm gonna use this one now and I'm gonna go to the history. It's hard when you do this in reverse. There's your history. And <clears throat> any point that's generated, location point, tracking point, waypoint, uh, all of them will probably have the location embedded on it and that you can actually send that to another user. So let's say you found a good spot for a tree stand, you wanna send it that to your buddy to say, check this out on your way back or uh, a meeting point, what have you. So we're gonna go through our uh, location history We'll do a location from October the 3rd. You can see here I did a lot of tracking, a lot of messages. And I am going to do, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send a message here. And where it says I'm stopping here. We'll select that. And what I'm gonna do here at this point is I wanna see where this, uh, this is on the map. So I'm going to hit on, on my menu key and I wanna view this location on the map like so. Now you can do this with the SE Plus, it's just that you won't have the preloaded map in there. Oh, did you hear that? That means that the message got sent, and there it is right there, indicating that it's got sent. So what we can do now is we can ping this one. So I'll get back to this example here in a second. So the default is 20 minutes for messages to check, or for it to check for messages, but we can use the check feature here to just do a real-time check and we'll see how long it takes. So while it does that, I can do something else. I'll get back to where I was at before with the history. So, all right, we have our point and uh, that was quick. New message. Let's get back and uh, we have a new message and there it is from the inReach. 
Ah, okay, here's a location. But notice I got the little crosshairs. That means there's a location attached to it or embedded. So I'll just select, click it. Ah, here are all the details. And I was like, oh, I want to meet up with my buddy. All right, well, I'm just going to choose a navigate. And of course, I sent it from this one. I'm already here. But if you were to do navigation, you would continue to do your navigation. So, so when I hit continue, it will ask, you know, we'll do the <coughs> A to B type of uh, navigation. So that's, that's nice. And then we can stop this. I'll stop navigating. All right, so let's get back to the history. All right, I wanted to I wanted to share this location. This was a nice waypoint that I had saved, and I want to to share that location. So next time when he or she goes to that point, he'll know where it is. So here it is on the map. I don't know you guys can see that. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm gonna zoom in. Oh, there's the waypoint. I'm just gonna. I just clicked on the, the joystick here, and I'm just going to get the joystick on Buddy, and I'm going to hit Enter. And it's loading up all the information that's around that point, including the waypoint. All right, that's where, I, that's where I want to be. So I can either check the location info, or I can send the location point. So I'm going to send it. That's where I want Buddy to go. Do I want to write a message? Um, yeah, sure, I do. And we're at the new message point, and then we can just simply, and then we can just simply choose our contact. So I'm going to choose this in reach. So I'm going to choose the internal in reach address, just like before. And then I can use a uh, type of message. So I can use my quick message, right? And choose, uh, you know, I'm on my way as a quick message, right? And then just send it. And that will send it as an internal message. So you can send any point. So it's great when you're saving waypoints. Uh, you're just making a, a, a sending a message that you're having a good time. Uh, anything like that, you can always go back to the history, pull it out, send it, pull it out, and then uh, send the message afterwards. So it's very very useful. So again, we'll just go back here, check, and we'll just check for messages. That was really quick. We are in an open area. If it was a moderate forest, it would probably take uh, a few more minutes. There you go. And da -da -dee. New message. Oh, here's our new message. Oh. And there you go. So he sent two of them. Notice what he did here? So you can send the message, and then he just sent it again. Pretty interesting. All right, so you notice the crosshairs? You can uh, go and select the message in the history. Select on it, and there you go. There's the coordinates, and then you can navigate to it. Very simple. Uh, that is basically it, how you can send messages from inReach to inReach users. You don't, you don't have to be on the same account. You can be, you can be individuals. Uh, if you're on the enterprise, it makes no difference. All you need is that internal inReach address and know that you can send pretty much anything that's created on the device in terms of tracking point, waypoint, as a location because it'll embed the messages. Now, last little thing, is there a feature, is there an option to turn that on and off? It's not coming to me right now, well, to be quite honest with you. I'm just quickly going through the uh, the uh, the options, the settings, just to make sure before I close off this live stream. Um, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. Like I said, I'm going to put uh, time codes as to what things happened in here. So hopefully you enjoyed this live stream, and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.